Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. This welcome to February the 1st, 2024. It is 3 p.m. Jerusalem time, and this is going to be a call. Um, we're going to begin this call as watchmen who are just watching and praying and waiting to see what the Lord will do. So as we come together, we'll pray whatever the Lord has put on your heart for the nations, for Israel, for your nation, and um, proclaim his word and his faithfulness. And uh, the call is being recorded. This is the Global Watch International Prayer Room. And I, you're all welcome to the call and we welcome all of your participation. So Father, we pray this morning in the name of Yeshua that you would fill this hour with your presence and with God, your power as your people pray, as we call out to you, God. And Lord, we just thank you and praise you that you have brought us to a time such as this for your purpose. And I pray, Father, for your anointing to be on each and every person that is on this call. And Lord, I pray that you would bring scriptures to the mind and the heart of your people. I pray, Lord God, that you would bring forth what you desire in this hour. And we ask, Holy Spirit, that you would be the one that we follow in all of this. And we thank you, Lord. I, I bless every person that is on this call. Father, I, I praise your name because, God, you are our rock. You are our shield. You are the fortress. You are the mighty one of Israel. You are the king, the deliverer, the mighty one of Israel. And we praise and bless your name this morning. So we thank you and praise you, and we will start. Have you got a song ready, Shirley? I do. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start with worship, just kind of set our hearts and our, our thoughts towards what the Lord would have this morning. Okay, just give me a moment. I'm just getting it up. Sure. This is um, from Karen Davis. It oh, wonderful. Is called... Atta Tsuri, and there's something else with that, and it means fear not, for I am with you. Yes. And if everyone wants to go ahead and pull up in your Bibles, Deuteronomy 28, we're going to be praying the blessings and speaking the blessings over Israel today. Wonderful. Father, we thank you that your word tells us that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but one of power, of love, and soundness of mind. And we just thank you and praise you, Father, that when we have on the mind of Christ, Lord, we see from your perspective, we hear what the spirit of God is saying. And Lord, I just thank you and praise you that you are empowering your people in the land, Lord, that great are the testimonies of your faithfulness that is coming forth out of Israel in the midst of much devastation and um, in the midst of war and chaos. But we are so thankful to you, Lord, for your faithful promises. We are thankful that you have your hand, your eyes, and your heart towards Israel. And Lord, that you are a covenant-keeping God. And there is no weapon that is formed against her that will prosper that the tongues that rise against her will be proven in the courts of heaven to be wrong. And Lord, you have shown that time and again. So we pray this morning, Lord, for the strength for the believers that are in Israel. We pray, Father, in the name of Yeshua, that um, you will continue to assure your people you are with them. And Father, thank you for the testimonies of the salvations that are taking place among the Arabs and the Jews. And thank you, Lord God, that you are truly with your people. And thank you and praise you, Father, that you know the end from the beginning. And Lord, great will be the outpouring of your spirit once again. And we 
Father, our seeing, you do great and mighty things. We thank you for the signs and wonders are that are following those that believe, those that are courageous and step out in times like these. Father, and embrace the truth of your word. And Father, we thank you that as we lay hold of you and we lay hold of your word, Father, actually you lay hold of us. And so as your watchmen, as intercessors, Father, I just pray right now in the name of Yeshua for there to be one heart and one mind as we come together in your presence. And we say, have your way this morning, Lord, in the name of Yeshua. So um, in Deuteronomy 28, you know, I, this normally this is a, a, a different call. This is the uh, uh, Israel update for you that have come on for the Israel update call. I'm sure that um, Shakar will either join us or that um, something is going on. And so we want to bless Shakar. Father, I just thank you for Shakar. I thank you, Lord, for the wonderful job she does of bringing uh, the current events to us for informed intercession. We pray, Father, for all of the watch leaders. But in particular, right now, I lift her up. Lord, she lives in Jerusalem. And I know, Lord God, that um, there are many events that are taking place. And so, Father, we pray for that which is coming out in the news uh, in Israel and in America. And uh, we pray, Father, in the name of Yeshua over the land. And Father, we, your word tells us that obedience is better than sacrifice. And I lift up Benjamin Netanyahu to you this morning. And I pray, Father, that um, you will... Take him back even to the memories of the prophetic word. You have sent prophets to this man years ago. And God, you gave him promises, but you also gave him warnings. And one of the warnings was not to divide your land. And so, Father, we pray that you would give him strength, that you would give him integrity. Lord, that you would help him to hold on to your promises. We pray, Father, that um, he would be one that would even cause the heart of the people, Lord, to look to you. So, Father, as all systems fail and as um, those that are standing against Israel uh, continue to stand against her, we pray, Father, that you would show Israel, that you would show Benjamin, that, God, you are for them. You're not against them, but, Lord, you do require obedience. And so, Father, I pray that Benjamin Netanyahu would proclaim, oh God, that it's in you and you alone that they can trust. You will be, Lord God, you will be the shield and the buckler. And so, Father, we pray in the name of Yeshua for Benjamin and for all of his cabinet ministry that are making uh, such significant decisions in this hour. Lord, that they make the right decisions, that they side with you, that they side with your word. And Lord, that they stand in faith, that you will be faithful to your promise. But you'll also be faithful to the warnings that you gave. So God, I pray for an uh, increase of grace upon those that are in the land, that are waiting, Father, to see a great and mighty move and a great outpouring of your spirit upon their land in the name of Yeshua. In Deuteronomy 28, it says, Now it shall be if you diligently obey the Lord your God and be careful to do all of his commandments, which I command you today, then the Lord your God will set you on high above all the nations of the earth. All of these blessings will come upon you and overtake you if you obey the Lord your God. And he begins to speak about how uh, the blessings would flow. And so for a number of verses it is all the blessings of Israel. But before we come to the end of that chapter, there's also the warnings for those that um, refuse to obey. So um, Amy Winchester, can you um, pray? over Israel this morning and the meetings that are taking place. 
Yeah, you know, I was reading earlier, I was up earlier, and sorry for being late, I had some computer problems. Uh, but I was reading it in uh, Philippians where it says rejoice in the Lord. And that word in means to to recognize your position in the crook of the arm of the father. And Lord, Israel is positioned in the crook of the arm of the father. And you have established your word and it's not going to change. But we're praying, our heart is praying that the Lord you are working to bring your people to the place where they will be saying Baruch Abba Hashem. You are provoking them, with, even in the midst of all these horrible trials, the, the horrible uh, dealings of many, many nations, uh, the words that are being shared, Father, that you are moving. And it's just like with Joseph, Israel is entering into the iron. You are causing the word of the Lord to be tried and tested to them. But that's so that you can bring forth gold. They are in the refiner's fire, but it's because you love them so much. They will be a nation proclaiming that God is our Lord. And this is how great he is. And that you are going to bring salvation and resurrection power to the other nations as a result of that. So we do pray over all of these meetings that as people are coming together, we claim that scripture, the heart of the Lord, uh, King is in the hands of the Lord, that you will bring their thoughts captive. We pray every thought captive and brought to the obedience and that you, it says in the living, the old new living Bible, that you will cause them to become men whose hearts is directed towards you and your plans and purposes. So we ask Holy Spirit, just fill those places wherever people are meeting, wherever people think they're making the decisions, Lord, that you will turn those decisions to be the ones that are going to fit in with your plans and purposes for Israel. We thank you. We praise you and worship you as God Almighty, the Lord of the angel armies, the Lord of the hosts of all of the angel armies that you have stationed them all about the borders of Israel. And there is nothing, nothing that anybody can do against you, Lord. You will have your way. And we pray against all the demonic forces. We pray for salvation to come to the Islamic people, the Palestinians, the, the Arabs, people that have been led astray through false ideologies. We pray, Father, that they would have encounters with you. And we thank you, Father, for your mercy. We cry out for mercy during this time in Jesus' name. So if you'd like to open up your mics and pray, um, whatever the Lord has put on your heart. I'm going to go to Ze Zechariah chapter 9, where it talks about Zion's coming king. And you know, there is a kingdom that's being prepared because he said that kings and kingdoms are going to come down, but his kingdom is established and will never be shaken. And so I believe, just like you were praying, Amy, that the um, reality is the Lord is setting up the earth for his return. And where is he going to reign but in Jerusalem itself? So, Father, I just thank you for your word, Zechariah's coming king, starting at verse 9 in Zechariah um, at chapter 9, it says, Rejoice greatly, daughter of Zion, and shout, daughter of Jerusalem, because behold, your king is coming to you, a righteous one bringing salvation. He is lowly and riding on a donkey, on a colt of the fowl of a donkey. I will banish the chariots from Ephraim, the horses from Jerusalem, the war bow will be broken. He will speak shalom to the nations. His rule will extend from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. As for you also, by the blood of your covenant, I will release your prisoners from the waterless pit. Return to the stronghold, you prisoners of hope. Today, I declare that I will restore twice as much to you. I will bend Judah as my bow and fill it with Ephraim. I will arouse your sons, O Zion, against the sons of Greece. And I will wield you like a warrior's sword. Then Adonai will be seen over them as his arrow flashes like lightning. 
Adonai Elohim will blow the shofar and march in whirlwinds of the south. Adonai Zebaot will defend them. They will consume and conquer with the sling stones. They will drink and roar as with wine and be filled like a bowl, like the corners of the altar. Adonai their God will save them on that day as the flock of his people. They will be like gems of a crown sparkling over his land. How good and beautiful it will be. Grain will make the young men thrive in new wine, the virgin women. Father, we thank you. There's none like you, Lord. And even in the Torah portions this weekend, Isaiah 6 be begins to declare, he sees, O oh God, you high and lifted up. Lord, give us the eyes to see you as you truly are. You are the king of all glory. So please open your mics and pray. You know, pray for Israel. If you want to declare scripture, declare scripture. Go ahead, Peter. Sorry, I didn't realize I was unmuted. Um, in the name of Jesus, I bless Israel. I bless them with a revelation of Jesus. I bless them with a understanding of the holiness of our God, of their God. I pray your blessing on their army and your blessing in their defeat of their enemies. I ask for your blessing, Lord, to bless them with the prosperity they need to be able to stand alone in terms of munitions and um, war equipment that they need for this war, Lord, without relying on America or anybody else. Lord, I just pray that you would bless them with the ability to manufacture what they need, to source what they need for themselves, so they are not constrained by international relationships that might limit what they need to do as a nation. Lord, I pray the blessing of your truth to be revealed to them, that they might have your wisdom and your understanding, that you might encourage their hearts. I pray a blessing of compassion and your comfort to those who are mourning. Lord, that your spirit might encourage their hearts and draw them close to yourself, that you might strengthen them in their innermost being and refresh their spirits, I pray. Yes. May your blessing, your grace, and your love be upon them. I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen. Go ahead, Hillary. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. We all seem to be on the same page. You know, I, w I just suddenly got that whole scripture about the Lord will have dominion from sea to sea, and you read it. And we just say, Lord Jesus, you are the almighty God. You are the merciful, compassionate Savior, and you are so patient. And with my Jewish heritage, I just want to say, Father, I am so sorry that I and my people, we have been so stiff-necked, so stubborn, so unwilling to bow down and fully put our trust and our belief and our hope in you. And when I look at that picture that you gave to Zechariah of the power of your blood covenant, and you say, I will set your prisoners free from the waterless pit. And Lord Jesus, this is what you've already done. Your precious blood is that new covenant, that blood covenant of your being the Passover lamb. 
and you want your people to return to you, to return to the stronghold that you give us when we are fully yours. And we have that assurance of faith, of your covenant of protection, your covenant of blessing and provision. And I want to call forth the Holy Spirit to move and bring hope in the hearts of so many who are so tired now. So many who have had such lack of sleep, have seen so many traumatic, horrendous things, who've been sitting around waiting and waiting and just the whole agony of the uncertainty and then horrors. Father, I can't even begin to imagine. And yet, Lord, we just want to say thank you that this is who you are. You are the God who gives a double blessing. You're the God who restores double. You say in Isaiah 61, 7, to those who've been given shame, you will bring double honor. And Lord, with so much shame coming from the nations upon your sons of Zion and your daughters, Lord, we just say thank you that you are lifting them up and so many of them are turning to you and your spirit is reviving their hearts and their spirits and we call forth your resurrection life from the dead to quicken every cell of their mortal bodies and i think of those father who are in hospitals those lord who are hurting those who have lost limbs those who are hugely invalided and they have to face the rest of their days in this trauma and we ask you come with your shalom peace we ask you come with your healing balm of gilead and where some are crying that my wound is incurable like you you had cried through jeremiah father god that you would come and meet each one in their place of devastation and heartbreak Father God, we pray, as has been prayed before, for the hearts of mothers and fathers and people who've lost their children and just this absolutely aching wound of going to funeral after funeral after funeral. We pray for those whose relatives are being held still as hostages and just the trauma they must be going through in the uncertainties of what is happening to their loved ones and if they will see them again. So, Father, we lift all these different precious ones who are hurting before your throne of grace. And I ask for an outpouring of your Holy Spirit. Even at the beginning of Genesis, you said you hovered over the deep. Would you come with your Holy Spirit, hover over your land, your people, into homes? And I just thank you for your promise of, the, of your Holy Spirit coming upon your servants and I just thank you and I call forth the spirit of the Lord that shall rest upon your people, the spirit of wisdom, of understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the spirit of the fear of the Lord. And this is what I want to pray for most of all. The reverential fear of God will come upon my people. We will bow down prostrate before you. We would kneel before you. We would recognize you are our sovereign, our Lord, our King. You are the one who alone we must give allegiance to. Just as Peter was praying that we wouldn't give our allegiance to these other false gods and Baals. We would come aside and be set apart for you holy. And I pray for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Lena, would you pray, please, into um, what we've been talking about and praying into Zechariah 9? Yeah. Father, I pray, I do pray for um, even persevering um, faith, Father, we, we ask for uh, an increased measure of faith. Father, that um, just like Hillary was praying, as they find themselves in these um, circumstances, Father, we ask for a, a grace for repentance, Father. We ask, like in Zechariah 12, for that. Um, we know that the day will come when you will pour out on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of grace and supplication that they will look upon you whom they have pierced. 
and they will mourn for you as one mourns for an only child and grieve bitterly um, as one grieves for a firstborn. Um, Father, we, we, we ask for that grace for repentance to increase um, even today. Lord, we know um, that many are considering or reconsidering or looking to you, Jesus. We do ask again and again for increased spirit of revelation and discernment, Father. Lord, that they ask, how did I get here? Father, that they ask themselves, that they would hear you respond, Father. That they would um, hear your leading, Holy Spirit. Um, these are the people you love. This is the apple of your eye, Father. That you will, um, you will respond with mercy. When they turn to you, when they draw near to you, they'll find that you are drawing near to them. Um, Lord, that they would um, consider their ways and, and they would enter into this place of conviction and a spirit of repentance, Lord. Um, that they would turn to you again. Lord, even this is by your grace. That they would turn to you with all their hearts. Father, we stand in the gap. And we cry out for your forgiveness. Father, look upon us with mercy today. Look upon your people with mercy again today. And um, cause the hearts to melt. Father, come um, with a spirit of conviction, Father. Um, and cause the people to turn to you again. Cause faith to increase. Cause them to come back to you with all their hearts and cry out to you that they may see your deliverance, that they may see your salvation, Father. Lord, we pray for, um, for the hostages, Father. I repent of, of, uh, um, um, of seeing them like destitute, like the suffering, and it's true, yet, Father, I, um, Lord, I pray that in this place that they will have, um, that your ministering angels would minister hope, would minister power and strength um, to even come into faith and come into greater faith. Father, that you minister hope to them, cause our words and our prayers to minister hope to them, to minister strength and faith to them. That, that their faith would produce um, perseverance in them and the hope that does not disappoint. Father, cause their eyes to be uh, set on you, those who believe in you, to be set on Jesus. And you are um, the Jews to set their eyes on the Father, that they remember the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Father, they, they remember that you are the one that told Joshua, I will always be with you. I will never forsake you. That they would repent and turn to you and see that you are there. Father, we ask for encounters with you, Holy Spirit. We ask for a light that shines in their darkness, that they would see the light. They are your light carriers, Lord, just like we are that you said that there will be a light on my Mount Zion, Lord, that they would remember the scripture, um, um, Lord, that in their darkness, they would understand their spirit is not bound. Their spirit is in your presence, Father, that they would come to you with all their heart and see you drawing near to them. Father, we ask for hope. We ask for hope. For the hostages, let our prayers birth hope in them that keeps them going, that helps them persevere in, in faith, in their faith in you, Father. Have mercy on them, Father. Strengthen them. Minister to them. Cause your angels to minister to them. Minister to their soul, Father. Minister even to their bodies, Lord God. We ask for the supernatural even before the eyes of their captures, Lord. We ask for your supernatural presence to be with the hostages, that even the true hostages, the captives in the, um, uh, uh, um, under the spirit of darkness, that they would be set free as well. 
cause their eyes to be opened to see um, um, the the evil that they have aligned with, cause their eyes to see the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is with Israel even today, despite her sins that um, you love those you call your sons and daughters that you love as a father love and in their disobedience you will see them turn to you and you will respond with a vengeance against um the demonic that has come come against them you will deliver them cause the eyes of hamas to see father we call them as sons and daughters we call them as ones made in your image let a spirit of conviction come upon them deliver them from the grip of darkness we pray in the name of jesus thank you Leah. yes thank you i'd like to pray into zechariah 9 again okay and uh his it's zechariah 9 verse 10 uh, from his dominion <clears throat> shall his dominion shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth and that word dominion is mashal which comes from the root Rosh HaMemshalah. So I would like to pray specifically for uh, Prime Minister. That is the name in Hebrew, the Rosh HaMemshalah, the head of the government. And that word dominion, so see the Hebrew there? And so, Father, we thank you that you turn the heart of Benjamin Netanyahu, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Netanyahu Lord. This Rosh HaMemshalah that you have placed in Israel. Lord, we ask that the Mashal, the dominion of heaven, the dominion of the kingdom of God, come into his heart. Turn his heart now, Lord, that he would hear from you the purposes and plans of eternity that you have for Israel. For only you can turn his heart of the king whithersoever you like. And Father, we know that you would like to turn it towards your plans and purposes of eternity. And we ask that this man hear from you, that he repent, that he turn, that your kingdom can come and your will be done. And that he would have, like our sister said, encounters with you, we pray in the name of Yeshua. Amen. So in Isaiah 65, you know, we're praying for their hearts to turn. We're praying for repentance and the grace for them to come to that place of repentance as a whole in the land, as well as the leadership. And Isaiah 65, verse 1, it says, I permitted myself to be sought by those who did not ask for me. I permitted myself to be found by those who did not seek me. I said, here I am, here I am to a nation which did not call on my name. I have spread out my hands all day long to a rebellious people who have walked in their own way, which is not good, following their own thoughts. And Father, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you, Lord, that you come, that you loved us, that you love Israel before she's loved you, that you chose her, she didn't choose you. But Lord, now it's time, oh God, for the veil to be lifted for the people to see you for who you truly are. And Lord, we thank you for the encounters that you have been giving. We thank you for the encounters, Lord, the dreams and the visions that you have been given. We thank you, Lord, for the testimony that came forth even yesterday from those of the Tree of Life ministry in Israel, of those whose hearts are ready, those who are hungering and thirsting. Lord, those who are responding to your arms being wide open, those who are beginning to hear, and those who are willing, Lord, to embrace what it means to walk with you all the days of their life. And Father, we pray for grace for the multitudes. We pray, Father, you fed multitudes up to 5,000 at a time plus. And so, Father, we are asking for the harvest to come. We are asking, Lord, that as you have raised up ministries, the many ministries that are in Israel, um, that are the Messianic communities, that are believers in the land, that are reaching out. Lord, we know that uh, time is short on anybody's time scale. And what's taking place in the land, Lord, is so significant. But we pray, Father, 
that there would be multiple, multiple encounters. And God, that none of us would take lightly the time and the season that we are living in, that you, Lord God, would raise up uh, those that are in the land of Israel to continue to proclaim the gospel and to see the results. The testimonies are amazing. And Lord, that we would see that in our own countries. Lord, as we reach out, Lord, there are many that are Jewish that are in the diaspora, many that will make Aliyah. You said you will call them back. And so, Father, we pray in the name of Yeshua that you will encounter them even while they are in the diaspora. And God, that they would go back longing to be obedient, longing to, to follow through, Lord God, with the new covenant. And what, Lord, I pray in the name of Yeshua for your grace to be upon those ministries, that you strengthen them, that you add to them, Lord, those that are reaching out, those that are going out into the streets, those that have made themselves available. And we do cry out for protection for their families. We cry out for, for their protection. We cry out, Lord, that you would watch over their children, that no weapon formed against them would prosper. And we pray, Father, in the name of Yeshua, that you would just give increase for your kingdom, that your kingdom would come and be made manifest among those that are even in the smallest of ministries to the largest of ministries. We bless the congregations of Israel. We pray, Father God, that you would pour out a spirit of grace upon the congregations of Israel. And we ask, Lord, that you strengthen the shepherds that are leading the people. And Father, we also pray that the people would respond in like manner. Lord, that it would not be just a few that grow up out of the ministry to go out and reach the lost, but Lord, that everyone who has encountered you would be would follow through, Lord, with sharing the good news. And Lord, we thank you and praise you for it. We thank you for every soul that comes into your kingdom. And Lord, as we even heard the testimonies yesterday on the Israel Watch, the rejoicing in the heavens when one comes home, if all of heaven rejoices, Lord, I pray that it would be a continual uh, symphony of rejoicing because of adding souls to your kingdom. In the name of Yeshua. But Avinu Malkinu, our Father, our King, I'm just so delighted by the prayers that I've just heard. Lord, I thank you for these mighty warriors that you have raised up around the world to pray with and for Israel right now. Lord, I thank you for each prayer that has gone up. And Father, we, we do lift up the government of Israel right now, specifically in these hours when a significant announcement is expected tonight regarding the release of hostages, perhaps some other details. Lord, we lift the any deal before the High Court of Heaven. Lord, and we pray for your mercy, Lord, for Israel not to compromise, Lord, with Islam, Lord, not to send more terrorists out of Israeli prison. Lord, we ask for resolve for Netanyahu, and the government to see clearly, Lord, with your vision and according to your word. Lord, we thank you and we pray, Father, that you would also strengthen the hearts of the people to stand and resolve regarding this as well, Lord. We come up the assignments of the enemy, we come up the assignments and the agendas of the nation in the name of your spirit. And we lift up the kingdom agenda of our God over the land and over the people. We thank you, Lord, we look to you, Lord, but I hope on you, Lord, for the victory and for your kingdom that's come on earth as it is in heaven. In the name of Yeshua, the Shem Yeshua. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Thank you, Shakar. Mary Z, can you pray for us, please? Karasakura Shalom Ayah. Arasakura Shalamaki of a Patusella Pokoi Arasakara Shalamakoi of Arashalamaki of a Patusella Pakayam of Putusaya. Holy Spirit, we give you Israel. Holy Spirit, we pray, let the fire of your love burn in the heart of every Israeli. Holy Spirit, 
in Jesus' precious name. Take off the blindfolds. To the deafness we speak, accurate hearing in the Holy Spirit. To blindness we say, 2020 vision in the Holy Spirit. To corrupted mindsets and twisted mindsets we say, the mind of Christ. To the feet that are lame, and that walk not in the path of righteousness, we say, be healed. Walk in the footsteps of Christ. To the hands that are broken and can, cannot gather together with Christ, we speak unity and love the same unity and love that is in the Godhead. Just spines that have been broken and no longer function. There's no strength of character, we say. Be strengthened by the power of God's might. Tongues that are tongue-tied, that cannot, that are dumb. We speak release of the Holy Spirit power to worship God in spirit and in truth. Lives that are broken and traumatized, that cannot see beyond what is there. We speak the clear vision and the faith of Jesus Christ himself. Father, I bring you the heart of Israel. You have that heart in your hands, Father. And you look at it with love. Because you see it through the blood of Jesus. Father, we speak life to the heart of Israel. And Father, just as you say in, I think it's Ezekiel 16. When I walked past you, polluted in your own blood. I said, live. Israel, we speak to you. The word, live, live, live. Father, into all darkness, we declare, let there be light, Christ, the light. Let there be light, Christ, the light. Let there be light, Christ's light, for it is the light that makes everything manifest, as you say in your word. And, Lord, it is also written, Christ, you are the light that enlightens every man that comes into the world. Father, we're asking that you bring forth this light in truth and in power, that it will overtake the carnal, that it will overtake the fear and the doubts and the unbelief. Father, it is you that make the crooked places straight. We speak that into being in Jesus' name. Father, in Jesus' name, we blood secure Israel to Christ. We blood secure their minds to the mind of Christ their hands and their feet to gather and to walk as Jesus the Christ did. And not just Israel, Lord, but all nations and our, the nations we represent and the whole of the ecclesia. Father God, I declare in Jesus' name, Israel will be saved and all of Israel will walk on that straight and narrow path that leads to life. Father, you, yourself, are the stronger partner in the covenant. And that covenant is sealed in the precious blood of Christ. I thank you for that, Father. I thank you, Father, that that blood is even now speaking on behalf of Israel and of every person in every nation. I thank you, Holy Spirit. You live in us. 
And all the time you were speaking with the Father and Jesus, the Christ, you are you intercede on our behalf and you even speak forth words through us. Yeah, what a marvelous God you are. Father, I just have such hope in me for Israel because of your word. Your name is Holy Father and Holy. You are holy, but you says in your word, you have lifted your word above your name. So, Father God, we lift up your word in its entirety over every heart and mind in Israel, every life, and everyone on this watch, and everyone who will, everyone associated with us, Lord, and we ourselves, and the whole of the ecclesia. Father God, we ask you to give the every nation to Christ. For he has purchased all with his precious blood. Father, I just want to worship you, praise and bless and adore you, glorify your holy name, glorify you in all your all your names, all your attributes, because that is who you are. I thank you and worship and praise you for who you are. I ask you, Father God, for an, for an experiential knowledge of that in each of our hearts and our lives and our spirits. And I thank you, Father God, for what you say in your word, that the dumb will speak, the lame will walk. The blind will see. And you also say those who, those who have erred in spirit will be given understanding and those who, who have murmured will learn doctrine. Father, I thank you for this and we worship you. And I just want to speak the name Jesus over each and every one of us, over Israel. And over every circumstance that every Israeli is in, no matter what nation they're in. Father, we speak the name Jesus into every governmental order, into every governmental law and everything to do with governments or leadership in every nation. We speak the name Jesus and their laws that Israel will find favour. Father, I rebuke those who are holding back what they can give to Israel. We say, in Jesus' name, be loosed from the demonic influence you're under. It is time to favour Zion. Father, Make Jerusalem a praise in the earth for the sake of your holy name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, baby. So, our Father, our King, Lord, we thank you for the work that you're doing, Lord. I ask for prayer also for the Messianic Jews in the land. There has been a growing sense of a need for national repentance amongst the Messianic Jews in the land. The Father, we're asking for it, Lord, would you put out, pour out a spirit of repentance on the Messianic Jews and the Messianic Jewish leadership here that we might humble ourselves before you and turn into your holiness, Lord, into the holiness of the calling that you have for us in the earth as a first fruits of Israel, the royal priesthood and the nation, Lord, the marriage of the land, all of it now. We ask for the Lord, that you would perform it, Lord, that you would do this work in us, Lord, and that you would cause it to come to pass. We specifically ask for unity, Lord, and a natural day of unity and prayer amongst the Messianic Jewish leadership and congregations here in the land. It is needed for Israel to move into the form of her death. So 
for what such a time has been. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Karen Sand, um, I know we're right here at the top of the hour, and we're going to go ahead and transfer to uh, the India Watch when this call ends. Would you like to pray um, since you are on the call? And yeah, we'll sure. Have, okay, and then we're closed, and I'm gonna we're gonna transfer right over to um, Rainy for India. Yeah. Okay. Father, we thank you for the spirit of intercession that you are releasing upon your people in this hour, Lord, where Israel in such a great um, desperate need to be supported in prayer by your Gentile people, Lord. Um, we thank you, Father. We pray that there will be no weariness and that truly we will be an Isaiah 62 company of people, Lord, that will not give rest until you give peace to Jerusalem, Lord. We just ask you that you would just cause your people to see, Lord. We pray for the sight of your people, Lord God, especially in Israel, that you will open the eyes of their understanding that they will cry out for their own Messiah, Father, in Jesus' name, by the abundance of your love and the covenant that you keep, Lord, until today, Lord, and until the return of Jesus, we ask you that you would give the grace of supplication upon them, give the grace of conviction, Lord, upon them, Lord, that they will return to you, Jesus. And so, Lord, as you are the only ultimate deliverer, Lord, for Israel in this hour. So we just thank you, Father, and we ask you that you will keep us all around, yeah, those people around Jerusalem, Lord, the nations around uh, Israel, Lord, will continue to bring before you the concerns and the, and the pain on your heart, Lord, for Israel. And so we uh, thank you that we can partner with you even in intercession in Jesus' name. Amen. And uh, shalom, everyone that participated in this last hour of intercession. Thank you and blessings to each and every one of you. Amen.